What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Frank and in front of me is the 2023 Corvette Z06. This is not your normal C8, this is the C8 Z06. Let's get into the review on this phenomenal Ferrari killer. So let's talk about the Corvette C8 to start off. C8's been out for a couple of years now. Uh, their mid-engine Corvette has a frunk, it has a trunk. It was Chevy's way of introducing a modern era Corvette, uh, scrapping the whole front engine design standard Corvette that's been around for the last you know, 30 years. So the C8 is a completely different animal on its own, uh, being that it is a mid-engine car. It's still got a V8 in it. This one's no different, obviously. However, the car itself has had a major overhaul from the standard C8. So the Z06 right here has had a major overhaul with the motor, with the transmission, and obviously with the styling on the outside of the car. So starting off on the outside of the car, you guys can see some of the major differences on here. It's going to be a much wider body than your standard C8. There's actually a C8 in there right now, and seeing them two side by side because this was inside is just so drastic, the difference between both of them. So the C8 Z06 features a much wider body along with forged wheels and just overall more aggressive styling. So this one has a front lip on it, it has a rear wing on it, um, has a rear diffuser and side skirts along with that wider body and that's all stock from the factory. Those are no added options on in this case. However, the car does offer another package. I'll put the exact name of the package up right here which is going to have the, that's like the marketing car that they had out there. So that's the one with the large wing. It's got all the carbon fiber accents on it. It's got the carbon fiber wheels and that one is about a $10,000 option from what I last heard. Money, money, money. I'm sure it's still like that. However, the dealership here has informed me that it's really hard for them to even attempt to get that package on these cars. So you kind of have to make do with what you got. No, God! So in this case, this is the standard Z06, pretty stock from the factory. So this car features the V8. It's a 5.5 liter flat crank V8, pushing out 670 horsepower with about 460 pound-feet of torque. So compared to the standard C8 that was out and has been out, this car has about 160-ish more horsepower than the previous generation C8 and has less torque than the previous generation C8. So when this car first came out, many people thought this may be a little bit of a issue having less torque than the previous generation C8. However, from what I've heard and what I've seen, it definitely does not change this car's uh, experience factor. It's definitely still a 10 out of 10 and it's compared to other supercars in this category at this point. So Corvette first made this car now to really compete with Ferrari. It shares a very similar flat crank V8 to Ferrari. This car sounds phenomenal though. So on the rear end, um, we have a much more aggressive styling. Again, we have that rear wing on here. We have a much wider body on here. We have the rear diffuser and a quad exhaust tip setup on here. Um, I'll go ahead and just show and put in a clip right now of the cold start and the just the sounds that this car makes. It's phenomenal. So give us a listen and let me know what you guys think. And I'm sure as you guys just heard on the exhaust clip that I put in there, this car does sound phenomenal. I am honestly so excited to be able to drive it at some point in the future. I'm not gonna drive this one because this one is already sold and I don't wanna take that experience away from an owner already and I'm sure the dealership doesn't want that either. Um, However, the Z06, some other notable differences is that it does have a badge of Z06 on the side. It has these amazing forged wheels on here as well. And uh, it does come with the Pilot Sport 4S's too. So at least Chevy didn't cheap out on the tire brand that they used. So the keys for the Z06 are pretty similar to your standard C8. There's really no difference in them. There's really no difference in the look. It still has auto start. Still open your frunk and your trunk on this one. It's still a soft close frunk and trunk on this as well. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's open up the trunk and let's look at that motor in there. So popping this up, there's that phenomenal and beautiful V8. You can see it has the LTS badging on there too. 
So again, this car is 160 more horsepower than its little brother, the standard C8. And again, these are Ferrari times that this car will put up. So I'll put up the 0-60 time right here, uh, along with the curb weight of the car too right there. So again, you can see it's really like a track monster in this case. We still have that frunk area in here. So you have a 670 horsepower supercar in a sense uh, with a large trunk back here and a large frunk in the front over there too. Uh, again, because of the displacement of this motor being in the middle of the car, it allows you to have a lot more room for storage in here too. We're gonna give this a close. So again, um, Corvette does offer, this is all soft close. So we'll give this a close and close it up. So it has this normal C8, you push it closed and it locks up for you. So let's go ahead though, let's jump inside of the car and let's just show you some of the differences in there. All right guys, so coming down here, when you're getting into the car, some noticeable differences is when you're opening the door, you do see the side skirt right down here. Again, it is so much wider than the normal C8. I can't emphasize that enough. This sitting next to a normal C8 is such a significant difference just from the wide body on the rear end and the front end and then the side skirts too. It's just, it's such a nice difference. And then also coming in here, we have the Z06 plaque. It's going to be carbon fiber as well in there. You can't really see it, there we go. So you have the Z06 plaque in here. And the overall interior of the car is gonna be similar to a 3LT Model C8. There's really no differences. The only main difference is going to be the steering wheel in here. So again, there's really no difference in here from a normal 3LT Model C8 to this model. We have Alcantara in here. Um, we have the standard dashboard on here is what a normal C8 would be. The only one of the main differences is going to be is you have this really nice carbon fiber steering wheel. I believe actually it is an option on the 3LTs, correct me if I'm wrong, but again, so you have a carbon fiber steering wheel on here. Everything else in here is pretty standard to a normal C8. We have carbon fiber seats. These are heated and cooled. We have a wireless phone charger back here, cup holders in the center, drive mode selector right here in the center, and uh, all of our climate control buttons right here in the center as well. This car does also have a top which you can pop off. Let's just lift this back, lift this one back, hit the latch open right here, and the whole top will pop off. So on top of having an essential coupe supercar, you can also pop the top off if you want and then have a car where you have the roof up and again, a 670 horsepower with no roof on it is gonna sound great, especially when you're doing those tunnel pulls. Also on here too, we have the carbon fiber paddle shifters in here. So again, just little things like that that matter on cars like this. Um, it's nice to see that Chevy didn't cheap out exactly on this car. Again, we have the really nice Alcantara steering wheel on here at the wrap. This I know the other previous generation seats have offered, but it's just nice again to see that they're still offering it. And on a car like this with the steering wheel right here, it's really nice. This is a really nice um, square shaped steering wheel. And then down here we have the Z06 badge too. It's such a nice car in here. I really can't get over it. It smells phenomenal. Obviously it's a new car, but just everything here smells really good too, which is really funny. Um, let's go ahead though. Let's jump back outside. Let's take a look at that front space. All right guys, so again, we have the standard key right here. We'll give this a double click right here, lift it up. And again, we have a nice little storage space in here too. So you can store some groceries and some weekend bags in here too. Um, there's really nothing too special in here. You can add some fluids in here and that's pretty much it for the most part with this front area. We'll give us a close. In black, this car is honestly really nice. It's, I know black hides a lot of the lines and the accents on a car, but on this car, it really just looks great, especially with those black wheels on here. All right, guys, and on that note, I'm gonna wrap up today's video. Uh, today's one is just gonna be a little bit of a short one. Again, thank you to Millennium Chevy for letting me stop by here and review their new C06 that came in. This is probably gonna be the only one they get for the year from what I've heard, but it is a phenomenal car, and honestly, it is worth every penny. Talking about cost on this car too, this one is about $130,000 from what I heard. And obviously you can go up from there depending on the options that you do get. So guys, remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know when I post next. And I look forward to catching you guys all in the next one. Take care.